Right, hello everybody, not by Chieftain and welcome back to another episode of Eldering How to Play a Prophet. So, we are in the end game now. As you can see, the earth tree is burning. We're at Laidlaw Capital and it is basically covered in ash. We've just killed getting the all knowing. The all or I should call it the all useless. And we're about to tackle Horaloo. Um who I believe was America's first husband. Now this guy is bad news bears. He has two forms. The first form he has like a line draped around his back, like a spectral line, which kind of allegedly tempers his rage. When we get when we when we take his health roughly to about half half you know halfway, fifty percent, he rips his thing off his back and unleashes Toralo raw rage, right? And he's just a bit like a pro wrestler. Um he's a nightmare, he's very quick. He has quite a big area of field, he's got a grandparent attack he does. Um he's a bit of a nightmare. But that being said, we are level fifty five. We've got a plus ten blasphemous blade. We've got a sacred shield plus twenty three, right? Um, we have all the buffs that it entails. We're actually also running the um, Dragon Crest Great Shield. We have the Shard of Alexander's for the extra damage. And we're carrying Filigree Crest to kind of reduce the cost of Blasphemous Blood, of Takers Flames. And we have the Great Jazz Arsenal so we can carry all of this stuff. And Mimic is equally as stacked out. So we will, um, honestly, we should wreck his face. And after that, we will um, have a quick look at his. Um, Great runes, we'll have a look at his gear. His gear is not unfortunately relevant to us. We might have a quick play with his I want to say ground shaker, is it's like an actual war or a skill. Um but we'll have a look at that before we um tackle Radagon and the Elder Beast. Because those are the agenda today. That's it. We are at the end of the game basically. This is probably gonna be the last episode. I might do like a conclusion episode where we discuss the build, what we did, and how we got there, but really, this is it. So are we pumped? Are we ready? Let's go. Let's go tackle Hurulu. I wish you had you, you could use torrent at any point you want, I have to say, because running around, particularly down there in the Ashen Capital itself, takes about 147 years. I, lo I have to say, I love the look of this um, crystal tree set. It just looks hard as nails. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to take this now. We're going to get, get a buff, but we'll probably watch animation as well, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, get Mimic ready to summon. Yeah. It's been a long while, Morgoth. Long and hard didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Alas, I am returned. To be granted audience once more. Upon my name as Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. Okay, let's get... No! Okay, let's, uh... Let me do his thing. Got his quick. Right, OK. 
Okay. Should do more damage to the There we go. Now this form is a lot less fun. That will be all. Thou didst me good service, Sirosh. I've given thee courtesy enough. Uh oh. Right. Today moves a lot, lot quicker. I'll do the talking now because when he attacks, we don't get a lot, we don't get a lot of time. Yeah. We should. I mean. Okay, so it shouldn't be too bad. We might die once or twice. Or well, maybe not. Fuck me. No, we won't die at all. Bloody hell. Tarnished. <laughs> we are way too strong. Yep. Well, I suppose we are on level 50, 55, right? We have. Remember to pour a loo. And. A mere 33,000. Oh, Jesus Christ, whatever. Okay. So, I actually think. Because we need. We're going to need more rooms to level up, right? So, I actually think what we'll do. Do a bit of grinding quickly. I don't want to go into this fight with no runes, right? Let's do that. That was ridiculously easy. Yeah. So we need four thousand runes. That's easy done. Well, we know where we can pick up those runes. Let's just go back to our cash machine up here. Uh, prayer room. I still need to finish Millicent's quest, but I just can't be bothered. <laughs> yeah, but the reason being. You have to fight an ultimate tree spirit in the um, egg tree, and it's in a pool of rot, and it just upsets my qualm. We died a few times. Well, I think I only died twice in the videos, but I fell to my death. He's about to just knock you off. And uh, I fell to my death multiple times. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this, fuck this shit. <laughs> so we didn't. Right, so this bodes well for our, the elder beasts, right? If we took on Horley that quickly, Elden Beast should be easy. Well, not Elden Beast, Radagon is easy as hell. There's our runes, right? What's it called this chap? Does. Yeah, okay, let. I can't. So let's jump to the Haven Lost Grace. What we'll do, we will level up here. We'll have a quick look at uh, uh, where am I? We'll have a quick look at Hori's stuff. We're not going to use it. Uh, so we have strength through our final stats, probably 14 50. That's about where I want it to be, actually. We're a bit over leveled where we were. We're going to finish about 160, I think, when we kill the Elvis, obviously. But um, let's have a look. Actually, no, wait. I think we killed all the demigods, right? We haven't got any more runes. Borlo, so he has the extra godfrey, which is basically a quality weapon, so that's no use to us whatsoever. And he has the Horus Earthshaker, which is used on all melee armor. So we're going to test that out now. 
I'm gonna put that on our. I bet you can't put it on a sword, can you? I bet you can't. I bet you can't. That's your war. That's gonna be a mace, isn't it? You bastard. Have a look. Got an axe. Oh, I know. It is there. Poor is that shaker. I do fire or flame up. Let's have a look at that quickly. And what's the damage on that? Seven forty eight. That should be a pretty good sword. Let's just try that out quickly. We're a heavy load. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. Let's try this out. Whoever used it. What's that, boys? Uh, let's see these chaps quick. Very close to. What does it look like? It's cheap. That's good. I'm sure we can make a build around that, right? We'll be as quick as we can. Don't, don't stress. We will take out these two likely lads in a minute. Um... Not as good as I was hoping, to be honest. That's kind of underwhelming. Anyway, let's go. A little Elden Throne. Because we're ready. I think. Or do we? Do we? Do I want to finish? Try and get this. Finish Millicent's quest line. As I feel like this one, so you've got to be high enough level for that, right? Oh, it's so heavy. Get rid of you. Um, is this where we're we going? It isn't, is it? What is? No. Okay. Do we? I don't, I really, you know what? Fuck this. Let's just go kill. Let's in the end game. We'll do the Elden Lord. We'll do the Elden Beast. Any, any, any loose ends I missed, we can always, I can always, uh, ignore. <laughs> right, so let's talk about strategy. Because this is quite a tough fight. The, it comes in two stages. <laughs> You've got Radagon, who is lightning and holy damage, and he will hit you very hard, he's very quick, but his attacks are quite predictable. So he does like a ground pound type thing, and he also does a, um, let's move it away from you, and he also does, um, he'll hurl lightning at you, and he does a kind of jump up in the air, which can change direction at any time, he can turn around and just, he might be focusing on Mimic, and he'll jump up, turn around and focus straight on you, but that's easy, if you roll f straight forward, you, you go straight through it. And then he can typically turn around and counter attack with uh, take his flame, and it will, we'll kill him in about five hits, probably four hits. He's not that strong, but the Elden Beast on the other hand is a lot of running around, a lot of fucking about. So that bit 
it's going to be a problem. Now we need to change a couple of things. So we need to get rid of this. While that is helpful, we want to be protected against holy damage. Because we've got a... Here we have our holy shield 84. Um, 84.3, which means we still take a good 15.7 damage, right? But with this on top, there's another 15%. So we should, or it might even be 20, which means we should be holy proof when we hold our shield up, okay? Now, the other thing we need to do is get rid of the, this. We don't need that at all. And in fact, we get rid of torrents. We want to be doing this pretty quick. So let's prop mimic where it needs to be. Let's pop you there. Let's pop you there. Let's pop you there. The spread should be okay. Um... Obviously, the goal is to not get hit much. Now, buffs-wise, we have... Um, so, the, the shield is which holy, isn't it? Yep. That's the main criteria. So, in terms of the skills we use, memorize spells, a lot of this stuff we don't need. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. We obviously need Golden Vow, we need Flame Grab Strength. We also want to uh, equip... Where is it? Oh, we, we don't even need that, do we? Because we can... We can that increases holy damage negation for stuff and allies. We want the lightning one. Increases lightning damage negation. We haven't got the strong version, unfortunately, but that will have to do. And we also want we'll have that. Uh, none of these are relevant. What else do we have that might be fun to use on him? Swarm flies don't have enough arcane anyway. I actually think that might be useful on the Elder Beast. Not for us so much. But because... Um, yeah, not for us so much, but, it's be, but because... Uh, actually, no, it wouldn't hurt to have... We don't need this Divine Fortification, do we? We really don't, we really don't because we can block the shield. We just need the Lightning. So I think we could probably... Um, I have a range attack of some description just so we can attack the Elder Beast when he don't flies around and fucks her out. Pop that in. Yeah, that'll have to do. We'll see how this loadout goes. Um, I mean, honestly, we'll probably be fine. The only, thing I, uh, the only trouble I do foresee is that I might take, it might take me a couple of goes to get used to his um, moveset that typically can be a problem. Uh... So we might die when we fight the Elden Beast, but we might not. We'll see. We'll see. Let's uh, get pumped. Just go on Val. Just playing grab your strength. Let's get Mimic ready. And we go. Okay. Ouch. 
Okay. Obviously, we mimic has to take his flames too, so he should be fine. Um, and now the next stage, ah, uh, we have to talk. We'll do the animation at once, right? Why not? If we die, we'll do it. We won't. Even though this, my buffs, precious buffs, are wasting away while we do this, right? Uh oh. Meanwhile, all my precious buffs have wasted away. Now, I still say this is the weirdest boss in the game, in of any game I've ever seen. But uh, we're going to bring on these run towards him. And we're attacking attack him this way. Oh no, he's doing his thing. You know, my green block works. Okay. This bollocks, we need to move. Oh, well, it's both time moving, that's okay. He can take it. That would hurt us a lot more than it does him. Now we're gonna run towards him, and he's now oh, his health stars, right? We need to. Oh, we can take it. Cool. Alright, that works. Explodes. Where's my mimic? Dude, you coming or no? Not a more of this shit. That's good. What fuck me about? Fucked it again. 
the timings are in this. not the prettiest fight you'll ever see, I'll be honest. Did he have a fight for there? He did, didn't he? Okay. What a shit. Please put on me, mate. That'd be amazing. Take it. Oh, there we go. That's him. So surprisingly messy fight. Normally, it's a bit easier than that. My timings were fucking horrendous. But yeah, 500,000 runes for killing him, which is pretty good. And we get Remus of the Elden Lord. Right, so. Elden Ring Remus. Alright. Now, there should be a side of grace here. Um, and there should be. Like, typically, you get a few different ways to end the game, but I don't want to do that just yet. Or do I? So we can become Lord of the Frenzy Flames. We're locked into that ending no matter what, I guess. Well, that's okay. We'll do that in just a moment. I want to sh just show off. This new weapon we picked up. So this is the rest of the set of grays. I didn't actually want to do that. I wanted to... What is the set of grays? That is the... Fracture of America. So we'll come back to that. America, not America. America. We'll jump to the table of grace. So we'll pick up the... Remembrance. Now, my other playthrough, I actually picked up the sword. I'm in two minds to pick up the sword or the hammer. Uh, because, where am I? Where am I going? So this is, this is the option we have. So they both go with faith, obviously. One is more dex based, one is more strength faith. Strength based. We don't have enough dex to use the sacred relic sword, although that is a pretty cool sword. But Marcus Hammer. I'm thinking I want to take that. I'm going to do a bit of homework between videos. And also, I think as long as we don't end the game, we should just be able to duplicate those. Um, so I'm thinking of doing like a recap video. Uh, just kind of cover what we've done. Because this, this, is, this is basically the end of the game. The only other things we could do... Anything else is easy at this point. The only thing we can perhaps do is is complete. Uh, what's the name? This there's a we complete uh, the fairly loose quest line. We can complete um, <clears throat> Melissa's quest line. We can pick up old Davies' great sword, um, and that's really about it. All I'd want to do. So we might do one more video, maybe two, uh, just to kind of recap. But I, I think I'll probably just do a showcase of those two weapons because I think I want to prove that we can. You know what? Let's do it now. So we want to go to the Consecrated Snowfield. There is an area that is proper dangerous about here. Let's do that now. 
so I don't waste the video because if it doesn't we'll end, we'll end the series here because I'm not doing all this again so if we pop in here and if we drop down we'll, we'll level up first get his strength where it needs to be he's still got 20 runes Break that present what was it? 47 yeah we are basically the god well, in fact, we, we, in a moment we will be a god. We'll be with friends of flame. Oh, I got, got to torrent off, didn't I? Foolish man. That's why we can't find him. There's also a couple of knights cavalry bosses we could kill if you wish, but um, I don't. I do not wish. We don't need the set as relevant to our build, and there's also something I need for um, Well, probably. Please leave me alone. I'll probably that, cover that particular boss in the next series. Because you get the Dark Knight set, which is actually pretty cool. Oh, shit. I've already got that, haven't we? Yes, we have. Okay. Let's drop down here. We know you. Now, this thing fires magic shit ass, which is somewhat annoying. Uh, this is a lot of damage. Yeah, no thanks. Right. We should be safe-ish underneath, right? No. No, please, please get away from me. <clears throat> no, no. No, no! No, no, you can kill me! You can kill me! No. Could you just watch that in? Like You can let us in? No. I actually wanted to use this, funny enough. Yeah. Okay. That's actually something that remains. I mean, we're going to. Get this, probably not. Chips get Elden, Re Elden Remembrance. We were, weren't we? Yeah. So that means we can get both those weapons. We will also run. Oh, 
got so much quiet about that thing trying to kill me. I think there's some bullshit shield up here if I remember rightly. <clears throat> Oh, there's such a grace. Hot state derelict. Okay. Cool. Silver mirror shield. Oh, wait, who's this? That person. I don't know what that was about. Summon a tenor. Oh! O oh, young yet towering sister of ours, let the birthing droplet in and create life for us, for all the Albanorix. Okay. Thank you. I finally fulfilled my purpose. She gives us some basic dragons being so. Our young yet towering sister. Now that nothing is, I will join you in battle to the. And when the fighting is, then you may lay me to rest. Awesome. Oh, I've completely forgot about that. Right. Okay. Well, that's good. Anyway. <laughs> We did, we did get the third of grace to me, it's just I'm not going mad. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Okay. Let's jump back to the Table of Lost Grace. Otherwise known as the Round Table. I think it's probably the first time I've ever actually called it. It's, it's, uh, official name. Right. I want to speak to Creepy Old Lady. power remembrance so let's jump down to this yeah okay okay let's have a look at this This is like to use. This. Where's the other one? The sword. We won't have enough decks for that, right? Yeah. No. Yeah, that's more deck space. Take a relic sword. With the power on that is amazing. But let's see what the power is like on this bad boy. I mean, it's gate up ruins, so the guys here are weak as fuck anyway. But. And I'm not going to invest any points here, but if we do, we'll probably do a conclusion video. I think that's probably what I'll do. So let's... Oh, mate, I like that a lot. Apart from the holy damage, that's shit, obviously. Hey. All oh, right, direct it kills him. Gotcha. Oh yeah. How does how does this feel for you? Hey, buddy. I mean, we could pick that up. I just want to see which one's better scaling in the longer run. Anyway, I'll have a look between videos, and so we'll probably look at some kind of conclusion video where we'll actually become the Elden Lord or the Frenzy Flame in this case. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll uh, see you next time. Bye bye now.